Good afternoon, I'm Mike Spear with Genome Alberta and I'm in the BioBuzz area at uh, Bio 2013 in Chicago. And joining me right now is the Honorable Thomas Lukasik. He's Alberta's Deputy Premier and our Minister of Enterprise and Advanced Education. Good afternoon, Thomas. Thanks, thanks for having me. Welcome back to Bio. This is your second year, right? It is, but this time uh, we came with reinforcements. Our Minister of Health is also over here, which is yeah. quite important. It's good to have his presence here as well. Now, last year, um, the, the whole enterprise and advanced education had just under, undergone a few changes with a, with a new name and whatnot. Uh, you're now the new minister in, in charge of that portfolio. What is your first impression of, of what you would like to accomplish as, as the new latest minister? You know, a lot of great work is happening in the province of Alberta and we're good at many things. But I think we can be great at few things, and, and that is what we're striving towards. So uh, you will see over the next uh, few months, uh, restructuring of the Innovate structure in Alberta, uh, trying to maximize on the investment that we have, not only from government, but from private sector, to see if we can push that innovation further. Um, not only innovation, but also commercialization of that innovation. Um, you will be seeing uh, a, a more collaboration between our post-secondary uh, institutes and, and schools of applied research. Uh, you will see finally the development of what I refer to and should always have been referred to as Campus Alberta. Uh, and you will also see a, a development of, of new platforms off of which research can be conducted with our province. So uh, research is our focus for economic diversification. Uh, we know that if we, if we reform a currently good system into a great system, uh, we can spin off uh, other economies in our province that will be knowledge based, that will be based on, on the natural um, assets that we already have. Now in the budget documents that came out a few m months ago, one of the things that was mentioned was a new research institute, which, which looks like it was intended to cover some of that basic research and to develop some of the collaboration between industry, research, academia, bring them all together. Can you tell me a little bit about that you research bet. institute idea? You bet. We have phenomenal assets as is in Alberta. We have great universities and colleges and, and, and polytechnics that do, that do research. Um, and some great patents and, and innovation is taking place in Alberta. But when you look at Alberta's, frankly, all of Canada's capacity to commercialize research, commercialize research, we're, we're still lacking. We're, we're not where we should be. Part of the reason is that our structures of post-secondary schools uh, it, it has never been designed to be good at commercializing. So what we're looking at is creating a brand new platform, call it an institute in the province of Alberta, that will pull in all the assets that we already have, the, the actual physical assets, but also the academia uh, for those who choose to participate, and, and the financial assets, leverage them against international dollars and focus on applied research into areas uh, that are of interest to the province of Alberta and, and, and to Canada. Now what's the biggest challenge to that idea? Because turning basic research into commercialization with scientists and academics is not always the easiest thing. What is the, the biggest challenge and how are you going to meet that? Oddly enough, as complex as the structures are and, and as, as competitive as the world of, of commercialization and attraction of, of angel and, and commercialization, commercialization capital is, the most difficult thing to do is to change the paradigm of thinking, to change the culture within current uh, institutions. Um, there is fear, uh, even though I would assure anyone that it's unfounded, because there's fear that there will be uh, focus only on applied commercial research and that pure research or thesis-driven research uh, will somehow be secondary. Frankly, that's not the case. Uh, I see them as two parallel uh, strands of research that can actually complement each other. Um, there is a, a fear that a government somehow will be setting priorities for research. Um, again, that's not necessarily the case. I, I think it'll be Alberta and, and, and what, what, uh, what the market dictates that will, will dictate what, what research will be taking place. Um, so the, the change of culture, the change of looking at, at how we fund research, the change of looking at how we fund our post-secondary institutions, uh, the assurance of our academia that, uh, uh, that one 
strand of research will not be sacrificed at the altar of applied research, those are the most difficult things to do yeah. because you're dealing with, with fears, you're dealing with, yeah. with, with careers, you're dealing with, with people's passions. And so you want to, you want to harness that passion and, and, and channel it towards uh, uh, where it is that we're moving. But in the meantime, it'll take a great deal of, uh, of sharing, explaining, and reassuring. Do you have any sort of schedule laid out or, or a timeline for how you're going to roll this out? Well, yes, we will be restructuring our current Innovates bodies uh, over the next few weeks. Um, and I'm hoping to unroll uh, the Institute within the next uh, few months. Good, I'm looking forward to hearing so, that. So am I. We'll find another chance to, to talk about this. Well, it, it'll put us at a different level. We've seen this happen with Harvard and MIT. There's no reason why, why we can't have this in Alberta. Okay, now you've got a couple of days left here at Bio. Uh, what's on your schedule for the next couple of days? Who are you going to be talking to? Well, we met already with a number of uh, pharmaceutical companies, yeah. those who are doing business in Alberta and those who are planning on doing business in Alberta. Uh, some great announceables uh, with, with Pfizer's and a few others, uh, which we're really excited about. Um, but the, the, the most important thing that, that I want to achieve over here is to profile Alberta mm -hmm. and, and show pharmaceutical companies what options and opportunities actually exist in the, in the province. We have this, what we call, and probably the name would change, a, a living laboratory a population of four million very genetically diverse uh, uh, Albertans and their single payer healthcare system. So from a, from a health perspective, uh, and that is why we have Minister Horner, Horn over here, uh, it, is, it is very important uh, to, to let the world know what possibilities exist in Alberta. So we're selling Alberta and at the same time we're, uh, uh, we're, we're building on current relationships and, and, uh, and, and thanking them for, for seeing the value in investing in Alberta. Good and thank you for your time. Always a pleasure. Good, good luck for the next couple of days. Thank you. I'm Mike Spear. You've been listening to Deputy Minister Thomas Lukasik. Uh, he's also the Minister of Enterprise and Advanced Education and uh, we've been coming to you from the BioBuzz area at BioChicago in 2013.